Hey guys, Jambu here from Gamers Class. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here with my first video of the new season for you guys. We're going to be having a look at the top five defensive tips I have for you so far. This is just going to help you guys out. A lot of people have been asking me what the tips are for defending at the moment. It's an area that a lot of people are struggling with. So I'm here to deliver that for you guys. Hope you're all enjoying the new game. If you have any questions about this video after, please do ask. Let's get into it. Number one is going to be don't play too high of a defensive line. So what I mean by that is you can set your uh, defensive uh, depth in the custom tactics. This situation here, if I'm playing too far of a high line, they're going to easily be able to get runners in behind. As you can see, he has got uh, a striker running in. As you do you've got to be sure that your defense isn't pushed too high up if they are then this player here is easily going to be able to get in behind obviously that's going to cause a lot of issues you want your depth to be I would say no more than four right now maybe even three if you're playing foot draft you're gonna find yourself having slow center backs against very quick strikers and that's gonna cause you a lot of problems Tip number two is manually cover runs. Now, what I mean by this, in previous FIFAs, you could sort of get away with defending by letting your AI do some of it. Their track runs very well. I know especially in FIFA 20, the defensive AI was very strong. They'd cover and mark runs for you. On this FIFA, not so much. The attacking AI is a lot better. That's meaning that players are making more intelligent runs and are running in behind your defense. So you have to manually cover those runs. So we're gonna play this clip here. And as you can see, I am manually bringing out my defenders to block the passing lanes. What you'll see in this clip is a situation where you have to get it right. As you can see, I'm manually marking his striker with this center back right here. If I pull this defender out, this player here is going to be able to get in behind. What I'm doing is I'm just following his run. So I'm trying to run with this defender into the area that the striker's going. And by doing this, he isn't able to get the space and he's not able to get his run in behind. So tip number two is to manually mark the runs. Tip number three is to be not too aggressive. Don't be too aggressive. Be patient in your defending. You're going to see in a clip here especially... You see what I did? We're going to play it again. What I do is I sort of act as if I'm going to rush out, but don't actually. So here I'm controlling my left back, and this is a good example of being patient in defense. You need to be so careful because this guy on the ball, he has this option here, this option here, an option up here, an option down here. He has so many different possibilities that you have to be very patient because if I decide to drag this player out and come to the ball here, he's easily going to be able to pass to this player and then play a through ball in behind and I'm in big trouble. So what I've done here is I've sort of pretended to go towards the ball, but I actually start backing off to mark this guy here. So we'll play the clip and you'll see. We do enough to put him off and he's not able to score. So tip number three is to be patient in your defending. Tip number four is going to be do not spam the tackle button. At the moment, I'm not pressing the tackle button very often at all. I'm taking my time with it, like we said in tip three, being patient. If you start spamming the tackle button, it's going to leave your players sort of skating on ice. You're not going to be able to have full control over them. They're going to be lunging in. You just want to wait for the absolute right time to press the tackle button. If the ball's there to be won, like it was right there in that clip, you're free to make the challenge. But you don't want to be spamming it in hope of winning the ball. That's just going to be dangerous. It's going to give your opponent an advantage. You're not going to be able to have full control over your defenders, and it's very risky. So tip number four is be patient and do not spam the tackle button in defense. 
Tip number five is going to be to use the jockey. That is going to be your best friend in this FIFA at the moment defensively. LT on the Xbox, L2 on the PlayStation. It's going to give you the jockey animation with your defenders. Um, it's going to give you a lot of control over the movement of your defenders. And the reason you don't have to press tackle much, which was tip four, is because if you're jockeying, you will get an automatic tackle animation if you are close to the ball. So you'll see in a lot of these defending clips that we are just jockeying, standing off, taking our time, a mixture of all the tips that we've given you so far. But hopefully this helps you guys out. We're going to have an attacking video coming out very shortly as well, looking at some of the patterns of attacks to help you guys out with that. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let us know what you want to see. If you have any questions regarding this, please do let me know. I'm here to help. But thank you for watching the video, guys. And peace. I'll catch you next time.